Hi everyone, today I wanted to do my book haul for November and I have a lot, a lot of books. Um, I have classic Jane Austen, I have children's books, I have YA books, so um, this might take a little while so grab a cup of tea and um, uh, here we go. So as you guys know, I love Jane Austen and I ne I've never had a hardcover set of books of hers. So I kind of splurged uh, and got them. And these are such pretty covers. I've had my eye on them for so long and I finally got them. Gave them to myself. And, <clears throat> excuse me, they are the uh, Book of the Month Club hardcover series. So here is the Mansfield Park. They're just so nice, and inside they're almost kind of vintage because they'll have a picture and then the text. So I just really love them. Uh, here is Sense and Sensibility, and same thing with this. They uh, see. have pictures. And then the text. Oh, they're just so pretty. Uh, Northanger Abbey. Emma. Persuasion. <clears throat> and Pride and Prejudice. And I believe the photos were taken. Let me see if I can find it. The Victor from the Victoria and Albert Museum, London. So, I think that these pictures are just so pretty that I always wondered where they had taken them. So, it's the Victoria and Albert Museum. So, Pride and Prejudice. So, that was the first um, chunk of books that I got. <clears throat> I like collecting Pride and Prejudice uh, books. So, got another one. This is the Cloud edition, Puffin Cloud or Classic Cloud, let me see. Word Cloud Classics. Um, and I just really like it because it has all these words that are associated with um, the book. So you'll see Darcy, Bennett, uh, Daughters. She is tolerable, but not handsome enough to tempt me. So. <laughs> um, on the back, it has the first passage, the famous passage. It is a truth universally acknowledged, so I really like that. I'm going to have to get all my new Jane Austen books that I've been getting and do another video soon, so maybe in the next few months. Um, I'll have to do that, because I got another Pride and Prejudice one, but this one it's a children's book, and it's the Seek and Find Classics, so really cute. And it gives a picture, and then it gives you people to find, and it gives a little bit of the story on top. So I really like that. It's really cute. I also had to splurge and get this really beautiful book of Alice in Wonderland. It is illustrated by Charles Dantor. And let's see. They're just so pretty. They have um, three pull-out sections. Let's see if I can, can show you. Actually, I'll show you with the, the Tea Party one. Since I like the Tea Party. Oh, here's Alice and the Cat. <clears throat> so, very big, but it's so pretty. So, I was debating if I should get it, and I just had to. <laughs> so, Alice in Wonderland Kids book. Um, and then, I was at the Friends of the Library, and I saw this book. It was only a couple dollars. And it's To Be a Princess, and it's uh, with paintings by Laurie McGraw. And it is so pretty. Um, 
um, she paints uh, historical people, but they're like almost so lifelike yet a little different. And it's almost and it's kind of a little history book on princesses. So they have like Elizabeth and Mary, so like rival sisters, and then it gives a little um, timeline for them. It has like Marie Antoinette. So it kind of goes on the darker side of being a princess, like historically, like what actually can, what actually ha has happened in the past. Um, but there are some, some good ones, so like here's uh, Queen Victoria. And then um, it kind of goes through her life, gives a little mini biography. Um, but they have many different princesses, so they have some from like um, Hawaii. Maybe like Polani. Then gives a gives a little history of the prince, uh, the monarchy that was in Hawaii. We have uh, the Rus the Russian Grand Duchesses. So the paintings are really pretty, and it was only a couple dollars, so I had to get it. Uh, they have another princess from. India, and it goes all the way to uh, Princess Elizabeth and Princess Margaret. So I just really like that, just to have it in my collection, because um, almost like a coffee table book that people can look at. And then, uh, I love classics, so I started getting in, searching more stuff in YA books. Um, so I had to get Alice Through the Looking Glass a matter of time. And this is a choose your own adventure book, but the one thing I like about it is that there's three different artists, or four different artists who do the four different characters you can choose. So if, let's say you choose Alice, you'll go to her pages, her colored pages, and then you'll see that art. If you choose the Mad Hatter, the Queen of Hearts, the White Queen. So I, I kind of like it. So how to get it. Um, more into the YA books. Uh, I had to get one for the holidays, Christmas, and one of my favorite Christmas stories is the story of Scrooge. And this is kind of a retelling of A Christmas Carol. So every Scrooge deserves a second chance, The Afterlife of Holly Chase by Cynthia Hand. Uh, I really like um, the authors who wrote My Lady Jane. So Cynthia Hand, Bertie Ashton, and Jody Meadows. So I saw that she had written this and I kind of heard a little, uh, some, kind of her online talking about how her process of, of writing it. And this is a story of a girl who she gets warned by a ghost that, hey, if you don't shape up your life, you're gonna, it's not gonna be good for you. But she doesn't listen to the ghost. And she ends up dying and becoming a ghost herself. And she becomes, I believe, like the ghost of Christmas past. So I thought that was a kind of interesting, um, take on uh, the Scrooge story. So like, what if Scrooge hadn't listened? What if Scrooge hadn't changed? Um, so there's that. Um, <clears throat> I have been getting a lot into signed books. So um, here's some that I got. So the first one is uh, Barnes & Noble had a Black Friday sale. So I got a signed copy of The Giver. So I was excited to get that as this was a book that I had written or had read as a child. So a little bit of nostalgia, so I had to get it. Uh, Ready Player One uh, by Ernest Klein. I keep hearing a lot of good things about this book, uh, so I had to get it, and it was a signed copy, so I thought that that was pretty cool. So maybe at the end of next year, um, you'll be seeing more because I have plans to do a signed copy video. So we shall see. Um, <clears throat> I got autographed copy of Language of Thorns. But Nea Bartugo. Uh, this is kind of a little anthology of uh, fairy tales from her Grishaverse. So uh, I read it and it was uh, 
pretty fun to read. And then someone was selling this book online. It's Stars Above. Um, I don't have it, but this book was signed by Marissa Mayer. So I have another book signed by Marissa Mayer now. Yoo-hoo! And I got Renegades. Uh, this was a really fun read. I got to meet Marissa Mayer. And she signed this one. Emma, do you have what it takes? So, that one was really good. I did a review of it, so I'll link that down below. So, that was my book haul for November. Uh, there was a ton of books, but this book haul is kind of really special because all the books I just really, 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 really like. Uh, what are some of the books that you got in November? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh... I actually had a mini book haul, um, so last Saturday, so my last video I did, I did a mini book haul, so you might want to see that. There's another signed book there. Um, anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.